What's up everyone, it's me, Bobby G, and I'm back for the continuation of level 10 of Tomb Raider and the city of Kamun. and as we left off just in the last episode, we now know we have to kind of explore what's underneath um, this cat statue area. Uh, the floor plates kind of fell down, as you can see they're kind of hanging there, and this is the most obvious place to go next, so uh, we're just going to do just that, and we can see there's a little bit of a outcrop here that we're going to be able to kind of jump down on so let's just take the path of least resistance and do just that and this is a very interesting uh pedestal um i don't think i've seen a pedestal quite like this before um very straight up in the air well i guess it's not really a pedestal it's a column with a block on top but either way i think it looks very nice all those hieroglyphics looking pretty sharp if i do say so myself and uh well, I really don't know what to expect here. So let's just try it a little cautiously. Let's get the lay of the land, as I always like to do on the new room. Uh, picked up a little bit of a magnum clip there. And okay, so it looks like that is going to have us travel uh, downward further into the city, I suppose. But I am also curious what this little section is all about. we got more guys holding fish and each other's shoulders. Uh, more of a step. So there's a couple stairways, and okay. Okay. Well, I'm confused there. <laughs> that really looked like it was a solid step. I don't know if it it slanted as soon as I tried to walk on it, or if it was always slanted. I'm going to have to take a second look there. Well, either way, they, they got me. Their trap got me. I'll give it to them. Now, look at this just a second. Is that, uh... I could have swore that was a platform to drop down onto. It looks like it. I'm I'm assuming that as soon as I stepped on it, it turned into a slide instead of a step. So, well, I don't want to repeat my mistake, folks. I really don't. And I'm curious. I wonder if this is going to do the same thing. Uh, okay. Well, this side decided not to do that. Hopefully, we'll continue to be all right. And oh, well, I don't even know why I did that. To be quite honest. I was thinking that perhaps there was some sort of hallway uh, on the other side of the spikes, but well, it turns out not really. So why don't we go the uh, other way that doesn't seem to have a pit of spikes at the end of it. I think that'll be the safer bet for right now. Hopefully we won't run into any more traps. Hopefully we won't run into any more traps. And okay, what do we have here? A uh, bit of a... Ah, okay, a lever. Let's see what this lever's going to do. I have no clue. Ah, there is that little doorway that we thought would eventually fall through uh, in the main room there. So, all right, that's certainly taken care of. Um, and what do we have down here? Another panther-looking thing. A bit of a golden bridge and maybe another cat statue. Uh, oh, there's another cat statue there as well. So, all right, well, obviously we're going to have a little bit of shooting to do. Uh, fair warning to anyone that has their speakers uh, turned up for some reason. And let's see what's over here. Ah, another magnum clip. At least I think that's what this is. Either way, I'll take it. Obviously, you need all the ammunition you can get your hands on. I know that for certain. So, all right, well, the funny thing about this is uh, we can probably just get out our normal pistols. And this is one pretty big flaw, I would say, with level design and having uh, creatures in the bottom of a pit, so to speak. I mean, maybe it's on purpose, but, uh, you know, even if I jump down in there, I don't think these two panthers or whatever they are would necessarily be able to get rid of me. Uh, usually you can just kind of jump around and get the better of them eventually. Now, granted, in the last episode, I think two shotgun shells um, took out one of these panthers. I don't even know if it is a panther, but that's what I'm calling it. Um, but now, since we're using the regular old pistols, it's taken quite a while. And come on, buddy, don't have all day. I don't have all day, friend. Eh, whatever. Like I mentioned, I can just jump down in here, and he's not going to be a problem. Very good. So, alright, well, this is another very interesting looking room. Look at this. I gotta say, uh, well, I don't know, uh, what those are. Looks like, uh, elephant heads, or... Not really sure what's what's on the head of that seemingly human-esque, uh, okay. Alright, well, here is another situation where, um, 
Alright, we're going to have to do something about this. A little bit more uh, firepower, I believe, is necessary for these random two leopards or panthers or whatever the heck they are. Just coming out of nowhere. And there's one, there's two. Come on, Laura, you can do it. Let's do a little back jump here. And there's one and two. Whew, alright, well... This is certainly the most amount of panthers or whatever we've ever seen in one spot, so that's interesting. Almost makes me wonder if I should have jumped down here, or maybe I could have jumped to this little platform uh, that Laura's kind of looking at. I'm um, not 100% sure, but look, at the very top, 12 o'clock, I think that is the doorway that we opened up with that lever. Um, so we probably did not necessarily have to jump down here, um, but we did anyway. That's alright. It looks like there's a little bit of a glitched piece of ammunition at the 1 o'clock, too. I don't know. I'll hopefully have to check that out. And there's some more ammunition, actually. Look at that. Okay. Well, we have a little bit of backtracking to do, maybe, uh, considering that it seems like we've missed a lot of ammunition. So why don't we try to go up there and see if we can grab it. The completionist in me will never let random ammunition lay, lay low and be unpicked up, so... Let's see if we can collect ourselves here. Uh, I'm not sure what this is here. Is this where we came from? Very well, maybe. No, definitely is not where we came from. Definitely not where we came from. Oh, goodness gracious. Ah! What the hell is this? Ah, I'm getting killed, whatever it was. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Well... We're certainly getting a nice view of her boots. I did not expect any of that. And goofy me, I did not even save any of that. Um, so that was a little silly. But uh, no harm, no foul. Let's just very quickly go and pick up all this stuff one more time. And boy, oh boy, was that... Uh, I don't know what that was supposed to be, to be quite honest. I have no idea what that was supposed to be. Um, whatever it was, though not work out in our favor. Goodness gracious. We saw another one of those things that kind of looks similar um, in the very main room by the Sphinx. Um, you know, maybe with the whole Egypt theme, maybe they're mummies. I, I don't know. They kind of look not like your classic mummy, though, so I'm not really sure what, what they are. And let's see if we can... Uh, well, I did not want to do that at all. That is unfortunate. I did not want to do that at all. Oh my goodness. I think what we need to do <laughs> is just jump up on here. Forget these guys. Get out of Dodge, Laura. No. Okay. Well, I'm not doing very good here. I'm not doing very good. I think I'm rushing things maybe a little too much because, goodness gracious, I'm uh, making a f one folly after another here, ladies and gentlemen. One mistake after the other. Let's see if we can figure this out a little bit more cautiously this time. So, yet again, pick up the Magnum Bullets. <laughs> no harm, no foul. We certainly know what to avoid next time. Don't be too hasty to run down there, uh, or else you fall into the pit. Okay. There's the platform. Yet again, and I accidentally made it go back up, so we'll just make it go down one more time. And let's just be very careful here. Let's be very careful. Um, let's see. There was one more layer to go down, and that's right here. And, of course, the other bullets were on this part right here. Come on. Get on up there, Laura. There we go. Very good. And we'll just pick this up for the third time, I think. Jeez, Louise. And gently fall down, and alright, this time we're going to save, because if I do that one more time, uh, I'm probably going to just quit. <laughs> Very frustrating. So, okay, let's also get our shotgun out, just because I don't intend to fall down into the pit just yet, because um, what I'm thinking maybe we can do is jump from here all the way over to there, and I don't know if it's going to work. But I would certainly like to try, so here we go. And, no. I don't, uh, I'm actually gonna try that one more time. Just because I think, like, I wasn't on the correct angle or something. So, why don't we, uh, head on over to here. Just take a step or two in this direction. 
and that should be perfect. Like one more step for good measure. And now here we'll jump, and we will outstretch. And we still did not look at this, ladies and gentlemen. These okay, I take it back. These panthers are actually uh, a little more dangerous than I gave them credit for. A little more dangerous than I gave them credit for. So what we're going to do is uh, shoot them from up here. I'm just going to get rid of them the quickest way we can, because it's quite apparent that uh, we're forced to go down there anyway. And, alright, here we go. I think we should be fine. We'll just deal with these very quickly. Perfect, perfect. And we're going to probably use a small med kit for our troubles. Not the best strategy, perhaps. Of course, the best strategy would be to sit up top there and shoot with our normal pistols. Uh, but I'm kind of tired of taking it a longer way, so we're just going to use up a little bit of ammunition and also use up a little bit of our med packs to get all of that accomplished in one fell swoop. And, ah, look, the game even rewards you uh, <laughs> for being crazy with a full, nice full med pack. And this is a nice little hallway, too, I would say. Very nice little hallway. And, all right. Well, now we are left with uh, basically what we were trying to do before, and that, of course, is head on over to here, but this time, instead of running to our death by, well, what I'm going to start calling a mummy, we're going to save the game, and we are going to utilize this little bridge to our left-hand side, and we're going to try to go and get that other ammunition that's over there. At least I think it's over there. Let's see what we can do over here. Lots and lots of cat statues. Certainly more cat statues than I've ever seen. And it sounded like a door opened or closed. Yeah, I think that other door actually opened up, and there's probably another panther or two hanging out down there now. There, yep, there it is. And there's a, yep, another two panthers. So, all right. Well, I'm just gonna try to dispatch them the same way uh, that I did before from up here with a shotgun. And let's see if we can get a good angle on them. I don't know. Um. Nope, not really. Not really. Uh, but you know what we can do? Okay, well that's certainly one thing we can do. And there's just one left here, so let's see if we can get him. Let's see if we can get him. Perfect, perfect. One more. Bang, just like that. Alright, not so bad that time around. And what I'm going to do this time is jump on down here and check out this other hallway. Because there seems to be some good loot. Uh, at the end of them, and hopefully there's no trap or anything like that. Okay, very good. And, uh, man, what if your bedroom was decorated like this? That'd be kind of, kind of trippy. Kind of trippy. So, all right, here we go. Now we'll just take another st climb on top of the moth rock. I don't know what you'd really call that. And we're going to jump back on up to here. And we are fully stocked, I must admit. We are fully stocked with all sorts of goodies. And, uh, well, the completionist in me, yet again, is showing its true colors. Because I would never be able to leave all that stuff laying behind. Never, never, never in a million years. Even if I have no real intention of ever using them. Uh, okay, so let's see what we got here. At least some shotgun shells. And, well, the way I've been using these shotguns... Uh, bullets. We're certainly going to need more shells eventually, so let's run on over here. These cat statues look creepy. Those red eyes really make me think uh, something's going to start moving or something, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Ah, third secret. Well, I'm very glad I came over here now. Wow, okay. Well, I'll certainly take that. Another secret. Interesting. So that's three secrets, like I just said. Um, Hopefully that's everything, because there's nothing more satisfying <laughs> than seeing that ending screen with uh, all of the secrets already figured out long before, you know, usually if I miss any, I have to go back. Well, I don't have to, but I like to go back and kind of save it, and I end up playing the whole level over again. Um, so if I don't have to do that, that is obviously ideal. So... The only other thing I wanted to triple check was, when I was over here, it looked like there was, like, ammunition glitching through the wall there. Um, but I don't think I see anything this time. So we're going to save yet again. I know we're being very save-happy, uh, but that's okay. That's okay because, well, we uh, apparently are going to run into whatever the heck we ran into just a moment ago uh, yet again. 
That's very scary. We only have nine bullets, actually. Goodness gracious. Well, I've never thought of a better time to use the bullets than right now. So here we go. We're going to try our best to sneak up. Oh, he's, he's already triggered. He's already triggered. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's get another med pack going before. I, I just saw him explode briefly, and I don't think there's anything else. There's not even a corpse left behind, which is very... Very strange. I think it only took three shotgun shells to eliminate whatever the heck that thing was. Um, oh my goodness. Alright, well, here we are in a gigantic room. Wow, wow, wow. What on earth are we doing here? Okay, well there's at least one thing that maybe we can climb into. But what is this all about? Very sandy... What is that? I heard something. Oh, okay. So it was those doors falling. Wow. And uh, I don't know if my game is glitching or if it's really that dark up there because that looks <laughs> pretty darn spooky if you ask me. So, all right. Well, I have no idea what this gigantic open room is all about, but we do have obviously this little place here. And I'm going to go save happy yet again because I do not want to fight that, that zombie. I keep calling them zombies. I guess they're mummies. Uh, any more than I already have. It's very frightening the first time I ran into that thing. And this looks like a bit of a ramp. I wonder if anything's going to fall and uh, kind of try to crush me. Okay, wow. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And oh, wait a second. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I had just about forgotten about this room. Here is, of course, the... There's one of the panthers even laying out there from before. You can see him just briefly. So we're almost basically back where we started. And look, look, look what we have here. It's either a key or one of the things that we're probably going to have to put into that obelisk in the main room by the Sphinx. Sphinx, excuse me. But now we have it. So, all right. That's one more thing taken care of. And there's a little gate that we're looking down in here, too. <laughs> All right, well, little did I know that it was basically a room in ruins here. The other room on the other directly opposite side was still very nice looking. Very, very nice looking, and this one's basically in, in, in shatters and tatters. And ah, this is another thing that I was hoping we would get back to. All these little pedestals above this other room that we've already been to as well. I was hoping that uh, we'd eventually get to them. And, well, here we are, so very good, very good, and I know I'm being extremely safe happy, but this is just such a gigantic level that it's, uh, phew. any progress is good progress, basically, that's how I feel at the moment, any progress is good progress, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make all these jumps the first time, but let's try, and alright, well, we'll get a couple magnum bullets for our trouble, that never hurt anybody, of course, um, but why... Is that uh, pedestal there? Okay, where well, there's a lever here, obviously, as well. So let's just do one more jump and get on over here. And, okay, very good. And I have no idea what this is going to do. But we're going to pull it anyway, because what else are we going to do? Okay, that sounded like sand falling, actually. That sounded like sand falling. Which makes me kind of think like one of the rooms that we were just in maybe got a lot of extra sand in it now and we're going to be able to climb up. I think that's probably what's going to happen. I think that's probably what's going to happen. So let's try our darndest not to accidentally fall off of here. Um, I'm really curious as to why this little pedestal is even here. Oh gosh. Okay, well, let's load that back up, because I'm really curious if, if we need to step on that for any reason. Really curious if we need to step on that for any reason. So let's just jump over here again, and be very quick this time. We uh, know what we need to do, so we can just do it. And get the bullets, of course, and we will just get on over here one more time. And nope, instead I will fall. So alright, Bobby, chill out. You're being a little hasty now. And it's, uh, 
costing you some valuable time. So just relax. And let's get over here. See, I don't see what the point of this is necessarily. Maybe we could jump from up here. I'm guessing that's why this is here. Yep, just like that. Okay. So if you don't feel like making all those other jumps, I guess this is one of the ways for you to circumvent that. But, alright, so let's get this going one more time. There's presumably all of the sand that has fallen. And, uh, well, I'm not going to be able to leave these bullets here. You should know that by now, ladies and gentlemen. So let's try our darndest not to fall. But to jump on over to here and we'll pick up the bullets. Very good. And then we will just make our jump very easily to the other side. And it's very nerve-wracking for some reason because I don't want to fall. Perfect. And with our save happy theme, we're going to continue to be save happy. And there we go. Perfect. And now we're going to run back and hopefully, hopefully run into some... Okay. Well, I thought some sand fell. But maybe some sand... Well, maybe sand did fall. Maybe it fell through these doors. And look at that. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but obviously those doors have now opened up because... Ah, okay. So that that was the big black area that I thought uh, was a game glitch. Now it's kind of like given us basically a platform to get back up here. So let's just take a look here and make sure we are, have our wits about us. And I think we do. I think we do, except for the fact that I probably should have jumped down here, because now I don't think I can get back, so that's actually quite foolish of me. Quite foolish of me. This game does not want you to go backwards. It does not want you to go backwards in the Bobby way. Okay, here we go. In the Bobby way is oftentimes to go a little backwards, just because, you know, you want to be thorough. But okay, well, it has all led to this, ladies and gentlemen. It has all led to this. Here is the room that we basically almost started in. Um, I think the hallway to the other areas to the left there. So this key should most likely... Well, I don't know what it's going to do. Let's not speculate. Another sapphire key. I think the most beautiful key we've come across so far. By far. And okay. What do we got here? The gate did not open. I thought this gate would open, and it did not. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, all right. Well, I'm a little confused at that, to be quite honest. I'm a little confused at that. What on earth, then, was that obelisk all about? That obelisk had four distinct areas. For it, where it looked like something should be put in there. Um, maybe we'll have to come back to this area eventually? I don't know. Um, and there was also the door in that main room that opened up. Um, I feel as if we didn't really need to do that. I don't know if we utilized it. I don't think we did. So, alright. Well, I mean, we've certainly pretty much completed the level. We completed the level. We got three out of three secrets, which is a big break. I'm very happy for that. But that's a little perplexing. I must admit, that's a little perplexing. Um, but hey, we certainly have completed the level. <laughs> so I don't mean to be anticlimactic, but I'm just left a little confused there. Um, it's my prediction. Now, let's see if I'm right. That uh, Well, if you remember all the way back to level three and level four, once we were finished in level 4, we actually had to backtrack a little ways into what was level 3. Um, so I'm wondering if this is going to be something similar, where uh, we're going to go deeper into the city of Kamun, perhaps, or whatever we're going next, wherever, and maybe gather the four pieces to that obelisk and then come back. Because um, otherwise, that was a really big throw-off there. And you also remember that ramp room in the very first, uh, right next to the Sphinx, the ramp, we never encountered that either. So that must, must be 
what's going on here. We're probably going to encounter that ramp at a later time in the next level or two, and then by that time we'll probably have all four things that we're looking to collect, and we'll go down that ramp and we'll be, boom, right where the obelisk left us. Um, so that's my prediction anyway, folks. Goodness gracious, I'm just very happy we got three out of three secrets. So... All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, this has been Bobby G. I really do appreciate you guys sticking with me here. This is a lot of Tomb Raider videos, I realize, but it's going to be a lot of fun to officially complete this game when we get there. But hey, it's not about the destination. It's also about the journey. So we'll see you next time, folks. Thanks again. What's up everyone, it's me, Bobby G, and I'm back for just a quick, quick addition to this level. Uh, my curiosity got the best of me, you know how I roll, and I went back to this little area um, that was a trap, basically, if you remember, this looks like stairs, but if you jump down there, it turns into a slide, and it leads right into spikes. Well, I just tried it again just for fun, and I found a clever little piece of level design that I just wanted to share with you guys, so here we go. And, oh, can we... Ah, look at that. A little crevice. Just placed just so if you jump at the last second, you can grab onto it. Shimmy on over to the left. Drop on down. And then, of course, here we can uh, jump right back on up and out of here. So, <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I kind of discovered it just on accident, but I just wanted to show you guys that one last little piece. So, alright guys, thanks for watching.